the key is in being a successful author is not how many necessarily books you can sell, but how many people have your book in their hand. Mm. The more people who have your books in their hands, the more value you bring and the more money you make. The biggest challenges that authors make is they write books to sell books. They should be writing books to sell. Whatever that is. Mm. Whatever the product, Mm. whatever the service is. So sometimes I give away books. Okay. Okay. This is amazing. This is amazing. Okay, so... You want to talk about Amazon real quick? Yes, let's okay, talk about so Amazon. let me tell you why I don't recommend Amazon. Now, Are your books not on Amazon right now? Yes, but they're on there for like $40 to $50. So if you do buy it, you're going to pay for it. But think about it like this. You've ever bought a book from Amazon? Yeah, all the time. Now, typically, once you buy a book from Amazon, within a couple of days, guess what they start doing? Recommending you other books. Mm-hmm. So that's essentially... Like, say somebody comes in and rents out this space. Mm -hmm. That's, like, essentially another space now sending your customers, like, hey, we also have a space, too. Mm. So they're sending you people in your genre their books. That's the one thing. Number two, you you don't get the lead information. So how can you retarget them? How can you redirect them? Now, granted, if you put it in the book and they happen to read the book, Mm -hmm. then that's cool. But you're losing out on leads because you're giving those leads to Amazon. Mm. Now, granted, get it. I get it. Yes, because Amazon is, is, you know, people search for books on there and things. But most of the people that are coming through me are speakers, are already coaching. They're on stages. They don't need Amazon to sell the book. Most people would prefer to actually buy the book from you directly, right? Mm. And then, you know, so when somebody buys from your website, you can create retargeting ads. You can upsell them, you know, and you can't upsell people on Amazon. They go to buy your book on Amazon. You can say, by the way, I got the ebook for $75 if you want the ebook. Or by the way, I have an event coming up. Come pull up on me. You can't do that because Amazon gets your lead. So that's the second thing. And the third thing, I mean, if we just want to keep it real, it, you don't make a lot of money. Yeah, for sure. For you lose sure. a lot of profit uh, when you sell those books. So somebody that sold, you know, 100 or 1,000 books on Amazon, listen, you know how much money that is? Let's just take $15 profit that you make when you sell it yourself versus the 4 and $5 profit that you make from Amazon. So I'd rather have $15 a book that I can invest into marketing which, you know, we don't like to do, right? right? Because we put it on Amazon because they can promote for us. Well, let's just take that $15 and put it into some ads or put it into, you know, get some influencers to talk about our book versus using Amazon. Dang. Listen, and I love Amazon. I buy books on Amazon too, but I'm not pushing my book through Amazon. No, sir. Mm, I mean, all that going. I like that. that. Okay, so, um, all right, so this is good. So right now, it seems like a lot of work for $1,000 for you. I have a whole team. But no, it's not. Because remember, you just brought up... Let's pull out our calculators real quick. Yeah, let's pull out calculators. Pull out our calculators. Okay. okay. Because I pay you $1,000. You pay me 1000 and you bring on... Remember, because the goal is to try to get as many people. Now, because at first I used as to limit it. Co-authors. co-authors. Yeah. Yes. So let's just say, I'll just... Because the most we've ever gotten is... Because uh, I would stop it. I would mm. stop them. Like, no, we don't want to do more than 20. Right. So let's just say we do 20, right? Now remember, they're paying $762. Oh, each one of them are paying $762. Yeah, they gotta pay to get it to the book. I thought it was one something you said. Six payments of $127 a month. Six pay. Oh, oh yeah. So okay, so they're all paying $700. Oh, girl, you talking good. So seven hey, what? There we go. Fifteen thousand. So it so you make fifteen grand. So if it's 20 people paying seven hundred something dollars, plus how much do I pay? As you the, pay $9.99 or $1,000. I pay 1000 Right. Everybody else pays 7 something. Right. But wait a minute. You ain't caught on yet. Then I divide that by, by 2. You make a $7,600 profit. So I make $7,600 by getting these people. Right. <laughs> okay. And this then guess awesome. what? And then I'm upselling them to join the book camp so they can get their own book. So. This we, is we, a beautiful <laughs> system. First off. <laughs> This is amazing. It, listen, we were killing it. And so well, now what happened was um, I kind of pulled off of doing it because I didn't have the team that I have today. I didn't have the editors, the formatters. Like it was literally just like one person. So now I had to step back to get my team strong because going into this year, that's about, we're going to just kill it like that. We've, we've produced so many collaboration books and 
we have had people that have gone off to even come back to do more. Like they keep mm. wanting to do more because it's it's an easy it's an easy little little nice right. couple dollars. Right, right. This is amazing. And then you up then listen. Okay, now we got forty people in a book. What's the next phase, David? What else? I need something else. And you say, well, look, y'all. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a conference. Mm. So this is where I'm taking it to another level, though. So. I was on a call with a good girlfriend. She just did a launch. And we she might said, have to collab on this, I'm though. I'm telling you. I feel like there's a whole nother. <laughs> Yo, because I'm seeing it in my head. All the people I know would just like, because it makes sense. And it's win-win. So my it's philosophy, win. and I got it from uh, Keller Williams when I was a real estate agent. On their wall, they say win-win or no deal. That's right. Win-win or no deal. Or and no I deal. see how it's just, it's a, it's a major win-win. It's a major win for all of us. And, and people only really respect what they pay for. And once, oh, and, and another thing that separates us, we teach the authors how to get their money back by pre-selling. So mm-hmm. now, before the book comes out, we're talking about thousands of books already sold, mm-hmm. right? And then we're going to have a launch event, right? So they get to come and speak. And so then maybe they don't know how to speak. Well, then we'll bring someone that can teach them public speaking for a fee. Well, I'm mm. going to spend that money because I need to. And I want to be able to, de- you know, develop my talk to speak in front of people. And then we're creating the mindset that this book is designed to help you to sell whatever the product or service. Maybe you do massages and you want to start being able to charge more for massages. Well, if you're seen as the expert in the happiness for space sure. because of my massages, mm-hmm. well, you wrote a book about it or you're a contributing author and you're talking about how my book or how my massages will make you happier. I'll pay that high fee. So in like, let's just say I... I do the book, and you're one of my co-authors. Mm-hmm. I'll have my book will have my my face on the cover or whatever. Yeah, and then, or yeah, or and you would be attributed. You'd have the book, and you could paint it as you're the one that put this book together. But it yeah. really doesn't matter. And who? who put the get, book. Yeah. yeah. So when people say I'm a co-author, no, stop saying that. You're an author. You're an author. And your name is on the front. Yeah. And your picture is on the back. When same, they buy that book, same inside. But the, I, yo, the thing because I, I have a publishing company and we only publish a few books, but um, I know the I, the ISBN number tracks this book. So if it is on Amazon, you have twenty people. They they trust Amazon. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like that's just their thing. And if you got twenty people that are promoting the book, they're saying yes. Go to I don't know. Go to my website to buy it. But once you got thousands of books out there. If you don't know these authors and somebody say, yo, this book is really, really good. And it's not as, okay, let's say, for instance, you buy the book from me. Mm -hmm. And you say, yo, David's book is amazing. And you tell a friend, say, hey, I got my friend, David wrote this book. You should buy it. Person number three, they'll buy it and read it. If they really think it's good, Mm -hmm. they're going to recommend it to somebody else. Say, yo, you got to get this book. And they're not thinking you or me. Mm -hmm. So that number four, they're going to go to Amazon Mm -hmm. and buy it. Mm -hmm. And if I'm the the owner of that ISBN and I have it on Amazon, yeah. the sales will continue. I know you said don't put it on Amazon, but it just seems like it just makes so much sense <laughs> in the mar- network marketing model because it comes yeah. back to the source. Well, absolutely. That's why I, I, look, I ain't no fool. I still have my books For listed, sure. but they're double the price. Mm. They're double the price, which still, you know, it's fine. It's still fine. That's but yeah, and your co authors know up front, like, you don't own this, so you cannot list it on Amazon. You can't list mm-hmm. it. Only the owner of the book. And if you want to list your own book on Amazon, we'll come to the book camp. So we have a three-day book camp that we do. Come to the book camp, write your own book. 